What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for watching another video. I actually already filmed an intro for this when I was at the theater, but uh, I filmed it upside down by accident, so it just didn't look really good when I was like editing it all together. I'm um, actually here with my dad, who's somewhere back here, back, back there, haha. <laughs> and um, yeah, I had done all this already, but we're gonna be talking about Into the Spider-Verse. We just got home from watching it. We just recorded our review in the car. The lighting isn't the best. Sorry about that, but uh, but yeah, we just kind of sat down and just talked about it. No spoilers, but I just wanted to refilm this part, so let's get into it. guys we just got here we're now in the parking lot of our house and uh yeah we're gonna talk about into the spider verse no spoilers for sure uh just my general thoughts right out of the gate i love the movie i had a lot of fun with it it's probably one of my favorite spider-man movies i think I, I i don't know if it's my favorite uh per se but it's definitely up there i think it brought a very unique take to the characters and it was really awesome to see these various spider characters that i've only ever seen in comic books and and video games be brought to life in a movie um, so yeah, like I said earlier, I'm doing this review with my pops. He's here for a few days. He's moving to North Carolina soon, so we wanted to spend a little time together. And uh, what were your thoughts on the movie? What'd you think? Uh, it was fun. Um, it was really interesting to see the different uh, Spider, the Spider-Man characters from the other, the other universes. Cause I had I didn't really know too much about them. So uh, I think I probably laughed the most with the little pig. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was definitely having a kick out of the pig. He, he was thought it was like a porky pig kind of like, like rip off or joke. But uh, yeah, sorry about the bad lighting too. Like now that I'm looking at it, I'm pretty glared up, but it's all right. It's not a big deal. Let me see if I could change that actually a little bit. Uh, it's all right, not a big deal. Anyway, but uh, yeah, we really, really enjoyed this video, this movie. I know I had a lot of fun being able to see these characters brought to screen the way that they were. Um, I think this is the kind of movie that really works in animation. I don't think it would have worked as well in live action. So it was awesome to see them really, really dive into this very, very vivid and, and different animation style. And that's probably one of my favorite things about the movie is the animation is like, is just, um, how different it was, how unique it was to not only comic book films, but also animated films. And uh, I'm really excited because I know they've already actually announced a sequel, um, which obviously they hinted at with the post credit scene. If you've seen the movie, you'll know. And they've also announced that they're gonna be doing a, um, another like spinoff on like female spider characters. So I'm assuming Spider Gwen will be one of them, and then actual Spider Woman. There's other spider characters like Silk that are female characters. So yeah, I'm excited. I, I would say my, my negatives probably were like the villains were a little bit underdeveloped. They kind of were just like the bad guy with the bad plan. But, it, you know, I feel like the movie kind of focused more on uh, on the spider characters and, and them as a whole and, and, and kind of the character development there. Did you have any negatives that you didn't really like too much about the movie? Um, not too much. I, I did I did feel like uh, there was a good cast. I yeah, think yeah, the cast sure. was a fun cast. Jake Johnson... Uh, our old buddy Nicholas Cage definitely um, coming in there. He, I think his, <laughs> I think he fit that role really well with the uh, what Spider Man Noir. Yeah, Spider Man Noir. Yeah. Noir, and um, and then of course uh, some more up to date, uh, popular Haley Steinberg. Yeah, is, that Ste is it Steinberg? I don't know. H Haley something. I'll, I'll put the words down at the bottom. I'll right, look it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, John. M M M the, the comedian he yeah. played the pig yeah uh, i didn't really know who it was he leaned over to me halfway through the movie when the pig showed up uh, spider ham and he asked me who who he played and i was like i knew he was a comedian but i didn't really know him from anything i've actually heard him on some some comedy skits that i listened to on pandora okay, yeah. so he's he's kind of funny. he has that unique voice his voice is he sound ju just the way he is sound as, as as the pig as the pig character, he sounds like that in real life. I he feel has like that. I, I don't really know him from too much. Like I don't think I've ever seen him in too many things, to be honest. But the Lee, uh, Liv Schreiber from the uh, um, Ray Donovan fame, he was Kingpin, which was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. As a pretty good get right there for sure. And I think, yeah, so I think definitely the cast, it was no, I mean, I think there was some big, you know, definitely some big players in the, in the cast, I think for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, for definitely the, the cast was awesome. I, I really don't have very many negatives about this movie. I think it's a good time. If you're a fan of Spider-Man, it changes things up. If you're not very familiar with these characters and the different like lore that uh, the different Spider-Man characters 
uh, have and just the Spider-Man in general. I know going into it, you weren't really familiar with all these characters, so I'm sure it was a nice kind of like fresh take on it and not just the Peter Parker take on it. Um, even for me who like, you know, growing up and, and knowing a lot of these characters and seeing them in video games or in cartoons or just in the comics, it was nice to see them integrated in this way. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this movie. Um, I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's a fan of animated films because like I said, the animation is, is just beautiful. It's really stunning, very different. I, I can't really say there's another animated film that looks or feels like this one. I, I don't know how you feel about that. Like, I know you're not really huge on animated films, but um, but yeah, did you like the animation? It was fun. It was definitely really, yeah, I definitely feel that the animation was good. Um, well done. It was, it kept you, you know, you know, it almost it almost did seem that there were parts of it where, yeah, it could be only done in animation. But I think if they did real, with all the CGI, real, um, uh, what, what do you call it? Like, like a live action. Live movie. action. There you go. I'm sorry. Live action <laughs> with the, some mix of CGI, it would have, we've got, they would have gotten away with it. Um, the, the, there was a real, uh, really good inspiring message behind the movie, too. Yeah, so I think a lot of people will come come out of that with uh with a definitely uh good you know just because you might have um superpowers all of a sudden doesn't mean that you are uh courageous enough to use them so definitely, definitely a good a good um to, you know a good message behind that you know yeah i definitely agree for sure that there was definitely a good message and we were right before the movie started we were just talking talking about life and and you know like i said my dad's moving now so he's going through a big life change and we're talking about just leaps of faith and and and, and faith in general and uh and that was definitely a big theme of the last half of the movie and i really really enjoyed that the movie ended and we looked at each other and i was talking to him about the fact that you know that we had just finished talking about that and and now here's this uh this movie with this message so yeah i definitely feel like it it was a great time it has a great message i think a lot of kids will really enjoy it i think a lot just fans of spider-man and comic book films will have a great time with it it's got some really unique action because of the kind of animated style it has um i feel like because the animated style is almost like a like the most comic booky comic book movie that i think we've ever gotten in my opinion at least it, like just the look and even like um the characters would be thinking things and the little bubbles would pop up that was very much like a comic book you know um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on the movie. Any last thoughts you have on it? Uh, please explain that little anime girl. <laughs> so well, I don't uh, Penny Parker. I think her name. Yeah, Penny Parker. W was she an actual bit character? Yeah, I th yeah. I believe that they said she. Yeah, she was bit, and then she has like a. I think they said she has a telepathic link. That's Penny Parker was easily the one spider character that I was the least. Um, that I was the least familiar with going into it. It's just like an anime kind of girl. And that was part of one of the things I would say like that was kind of underdeveloped um, is that she, she was kind of underdeveloped to me. There was like a scene later on that for her that was kind of supposed to be a little bit more emotional and it didn't really uh, resonate with me. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about near the end. And um, yeah, it didn't really resonate too much with me, but I enjoyed her character. It was kind of, as somebody who likes anime and watches anime, it, it definitely, I, I got a lot of the humor behind her character. Uh, but I can see where you probably were thinking, like, what's up with this chick? Um, but yeah, Penny Parker, I, I wasn't really, I wasn't too familiar with her, but I enjoyed her, her, her role in the, in the whole thing. Um, but I, there were some other spider characters I probably would have put far before her in this movie. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely a good thing. I, 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 a good one to talk about. I, I didn't even think about that, to be honest. She kind of was one of those characters that was in it. They definitely added a little bit to the visuals and, and the action, but she was kind of... Like I said, a little bit not as developed, so it wasn't all there. But I really, really loved Miles Morales in this movie. Like, it makes me want a live-action Miles Morales. Did you enjoy that character? I mean, he's the, the centerpiece of the movie. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, good. I think, you know, with Black Panther actually uh, yeah. getting a lot of um, popularity because, obviously, for the African-American culture, um, you got, like, this first, you know, powerful, strong superhero in the comics world and then now you know if um i think that that's definitely a, a pretty cool sign to see another african-american character uh take the lead like this and 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 also be you know i guess the, you know the, the the new this the new spider-man in, in that world yeah yeah definitely I, I really enjoyed it again i don't really have very many negatives outside of the few that i mentioned if you're a fan of spider-man if you're a fan of animated films uh there's there's so much there for you even if you're not familiar with these characters and it may seem like oh like i don't know who all these people are i, I think it's the fresh take that you probably want from spider-man uh that, that really deviates it and, and changes it up and, and doesn't keep it on that same peter parker or mary jane 
like path you know what i mean uh, like i said it's, it's probably one of my favorite spider-man movies but i think he he he's also not just african-american he's like puerto rican he's, or something. yeah he's also puerto rican yeah that oh, was so that was a really so cool puerto Rican. Yeah. Wow. A Boricua Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really cool to see uh, his speak. There was, there was a lot of moments where the um, where they were speaking Spanish. Like, uh, his mother would speak Spanish right. to him, or he would speak Spanish, and there was never any subtitles, so it very much, like, was kind of relying on the fact that you knew, like, what they were saying, or, or at least relying that Por, you got the general gist of it. Por you know, supuesto. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there, was, there was a lot of little, little things like that that I didn't expect in this movie, so... Yeah, man, I, I really don't have any negatives uh, outside of the few that I had. I think it's a really good watch. Uh, I'm excited for sequels. I'm excited to see so be, see Sony taking the Spider-Man license that they have and doing more with it. You know what I mean? Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man movies weren't that great. Not that they were terrible, but I think that those kind of left people with a bad taste in their mouth. And now with Venom doing pretty well, I know, you didn't see Venom, did you? I did not see Venom, yeah, not yeah. yet, at least. Yeah. But yeah, you'll definitely check it out. Venom wasn't anything crazy, but it was a fun watch, and it did really, really well. So no doubt they're going to, like, overseas and everything. So they're no doubt going to be making a sequel for that. Um, and so I'm very excited. I think I'm more excited for this than a lot of the upcoming comic book movies, outside of, like, obviously Avengers and all that stuff. But even then, I would say I'm just equally as excited because... I think that you can do a lot with this. This is one of those movies that, like, there feels like there's so much more story to be told. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see where they take it. Any last thoughts? No? Good to go. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, this is my pops. Um, thank you for watching. Leave some comments down below. Let us know what you thought of it. What are you looking forward to in watching this movie? Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon. You know the deal. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Do animals talk in this dimension? Because I don't want to freak him out. Yeah.